Hey friends, welcome back to Peculiar Potions. We now have our basic needs met. We have shelter, an incredible farm, and even a mineshaft to collect resources from the earth. But to actually work towards what science and magic this world has to offer, we need other goods, and one of those big ones are books. And for that, we need leather. So, let's establish a pasture. All right, the animal farm. Now, we don't have a massive ton of flat, well, relatively flat space around here to work with for that kind of thing. So I like to do the same kind of thing that we did with the wheat farm, which is partially build it into the mountainside to essentially make more space than we have. Have part of it inside, have part of it outside. And that'll also essentially artificially make shelter here. You technically don't need shelter for your animals in Minecraft, but we're taking the time to make dedicated areas for every facility here, something that looks nice and seems like it could reasonably function to achieve what it serves to achieve, essentially. So, that was my goal here. So, I started digging these holes into the mountainside. Each of these would essentially be its own small animal farm. I wasn't 100% certain how many of them total I was going to make. I was just kind of generally plotting it out at first and figuring things out as I went. But I knew that I wanted at least the three around here. This would result in needing to expand that hill there a little bit. I would try to get similar sizes for all these. The phantoms were causing me a little bit of trouble there for a hot second. I was very surprised when I saw a little bit of cobblestone in there. I was like, wait, why is there cobblestone in there? But then I realized that that was the hidey hole that I hid in, in like the second episode. I believe it was a good while back. So that's why there was the brief little bit of cobblestone in there rather than regular stone. Because I was hiding out in there. So I have at least the three now. But I figured, okay, I can I can cram in a fourth over here. There's there's enough space to work with. So that's what I did. I started making a fourth one over here. I was going to figure out exactly how deep I was going to make these. It wasn't going to be all completely lined up at the back. I wanted to have generally the same amount of space protruding out. And considering each of these start at different places, it means that they would each go in at different length. So they're not all going to be quite lined up, but that helps it feel more rustically put together. Turns out, one of the phantoms from earlier was still chilling over here, so I just kind of left him to be. He was just kind of enjoying time in the corner there. I just kept digging. It wasn't bothering me, so didn't have to didn't have to worry about it. So I just leave him be, and I'd be on my merry way. So then I thought, is five pushing it a bit much? Nah, I can do five. Let's just have a smaller fifth one over here, and that can be for something small like chickens, for example. So this one would need a little bit of a support to hold up what small space it has, essentially. So it was time to start digging out the stone over here, because this was going to have to be dirt since this is where the animals are staying, after all. We don't want them to sleep on hard stone. Now, I got a little bit lost underground here for a little bit, because if you recall, I needed to plug up the surface here where it was protruding into underground, because it was that narrow little cave system. So I made sure to light that up a decent bit and then come out the front there, as you saw, and then continue digging out this area to replace with more dirt. So, how was I going to do these archways? I knew I wanted solid wood with spruce wood, but as for what details I want around it, I wasn't quite sure for a little bit. So I toyed around with a couple designs, and I eventually decided to settle on this design with the campfires. I would douse the campfires and essentially make them look like they're just thinner logs that help support this from either side. So, along with the slabs and upside down stairs, I eventually decided that this was the kind of design that I liked, so it was time to start adopting that design for the other arches here. Now, I would be sure to change what direction I had the campfires facing for each one of these to give it a little smidge of extra added irregularity. Before moving over to the next arch, I would also make sure to put down some lanterns here to make sure that it's properly lit without needing torches. And then this one over here was the slightly smaller one, so I elected for a very similar but slightly different design. I did need to craft more stairs and slabs. So with that, we finally had our five animal spaces plowed out with the arches helping support them up. Now came the part where I would have to do a lot of digging, because I wanted to use a tunnel system to connect these all up. This would involve using F3 a lot to plot out coordinates to make sure that I am lining up where I needed to go, since each of these does go a different length into the mountainside, since they all come out at a different starting point. So this required a lot of measurements and calculations to make sure I was getting everything just right, and have a nice path to be able to walk between each of these areas. So with this final bit over here, I finally had these all connected with a simple tunnel system. So it was time to start putting down some walls. I still had a whole bunch of the deep slate walls left over from the wheat farm project last time, so I decided to start using a bit more of that to complete the look over here. Ah, 
had a narrow fight with an Enderman there. I guess he just really wanted to check out what was going on over here and cause me a little bit of trouble. Now, I would need a proper option for an entrance into this back tunnel without needing to go through the animal spaces. So, I elected for a tunnel that would come up from the front hill there. So, what I'm doing that you can't really see right now is a whole lot of digging under the ground slowly coming towards the screen just like that, and that would be our main entranceway. So, I elected for another spruce log design here to match with the theming up there. So, just be a very simple entrance, doesn't need to be anything fancy. After all, this does go underground through caves to be able to make it to the animal space. Now, I would need to connect this path up to the stairs that I made up to this level last time to make sure that we have a full complete path leading all the way from the cozy cabin to the animal space. Using the same dugout and gravel design. So it was time for me to start actually fencing off these areas and making the animal spaces proper. I wanted a little bit of irregularity in the height, just so that it doesn't look completely artificial as if it's conforming to the natural terrain here more than anything. Though I would have to change what that natural terrain was a little bit to give it a lot more of that natural look. It seems like this space would need a little bit of a platform as well if I wanted it to not have very little space. Now, I initially put down lamps on the corners there, but I decided that I didn't like this design, and I'd go with lamp posts instead or lantern posts. I know I call them lamps all the time, and I apologize that I keep on calling them that. <laughs> they would be alternating like this for a little bit of extra irregularity. Now, our animals would need water, so I create an infinite water source here, and I would start using that to give us our water supplies, which would be little fountains from the wall. But they would also need a bit of proper shelter. Now, being into the cliff face here is already pretty nice, but I want a little bit of extra here, something proper where they can go lie down and sleep. Now, animals in Minecraft technically don't need sleep, or water, or food technically, but I still want this to have it feel a lot more natural. Now, it seems things couldn't fully go according to plan, considering it seems like Zeus has problems with me once again, and must have struck some skeletons, because I come out there and I start getting shot at, and I notice that there's some skeletons. So I had to quickly take a little bit of a break from the building to go ahead and take back the night. Even a zombie dude wants to get involved in this fight over here. Yeah, these skeletons were not exactly very nice. And my aim was a bit out of practice and wasn't exactly as true as I hoped there. There was two left, so I got up to a good sniping point here, putting down torches along the way to make sure that it's well lit. And hopefully we have less problems with this in the future. Because after all, if skeletons can't spawn, I shouldn't have to worry about lightning hitting skeletons. I am going to need to take some proper time in the future to make sure that I am fully lighting this whole area. So that I don't have to deal with things like this in the future. Now they were a bit smart, they were going behind the, behind the small mountainside there for cover. Make sure they were staying safe. So I would have to get closer to make sure that I can properly finish them off here. Now, even a creeper wanted to get involved. The monsters were not very nice tonight. This guy realized that he was taking fire, so he went for cover again around the corner there. But if he was going to be a super rude dude to me, shooting me while I'm trying to build the pasture, that's a no-go. So I took him out, and we had taken back the night. Alright, back to building the pasture. I could now go back to full swing now that I didn't have to worry about the surrounding baddies. I would put some hay around each of the areas in addition to a little waterfall. This shelter here I couldn't make one block deeper as I had initially hoped, because then that would get into the area that is my tunnel that leads into here essentially. For these fountains, I elected for a cobblestone design to make it look a lot more like it's dug out. And for these shelter bits, I elected to use oak wood. One, because I was running out of spruce, and to make it look like these different things, like the arches and the shelters, were made with different materials, because they were. Almost as if somebody made the arches once long ago, and they've been standing there for a long time, but the shelters have had to go through different revisions with different materials. Now, I didn't want to do a half job here, so I made sure to dig out the ceilings, 
and I replace it with a cobbled look to really make sure that it does look like it's dug out. And I would sometimes use the upside down stairs and slab design to make it look like it's jutting in a little bit. This would evidently take a lot of digging and a lot of holding M1. So just going through them all one by one. It's a long process, but it's a process that would make me proud of the end product once it was finally complete. And therefore, it was worth it. Getting another shelter established here. I would try to vary how much of the ground I was using the shovel on. Again, add that little extra effect of irregularity. I don't know if this is quite as much digging as we did during the mineshaft episode, but it certainly felt like it. <laughs> so finally on to the last pen over here. Digging out the small shelter. Working on the water supply. So then I could start digging out the ceiling. Now, I had to be careful here to make sure that I wasn't adding the hay in a way that they could jump out. So that's something I tried to make extra safe here. Now, everything had to be cobbled here. It couldn't just be regular stone. This needed to be a proper throw job here. I realized when I was digging out this area that this could actually be like a little bit of a checkpoint. A nice space to hang out in when you initially come in through the tunnel that leads into here. So I decided to make this space a little bit wider, just in case I wanted to use it for storage, keeping track of animal goods, or what have you. Now I was going back and forth here a little bit to make sure that I was following the same idea of the stair design to make the wall have that look. So I could finally come back over here again and start getting to work on that. Now the walls were one thing, but I also had to do the floor and ceiling, and I needed light in here, so I liked it for this design with the lanterns where they would be coming out of a regular full block since you can't put them under a stair or a slab, and I would have stairs around the outside to make it look like it kind of leads into the bit that goes up like that essentially. I would need to clean up my tunnel here a little bit, make it a little bit more presentable, and add some lanterns on either side there. Just to make sure it's lit, safe, and presentable. Now, this endeavor did wind up giving me a lot of coal, a decent bit of iron, but mostly coal throughout this process. This was a long task that would require a lot of work and took a lot of hours at the end of the day, but I was very glad to be able to do it. It gives it a dugout look like it's been here like this for a while, not like it was just slapped together in an instant just for the sake of having a facility for these purposes. So this tunnel here would have to go a little bit sideways. I did initially think about having it do two quick 90 degree angles, but that quick and close succession I decided nah, this would just be a little bit of a diagonal tunnel going over that way. So the final animal area over here, digging out the walls and getting that done as we wrap up this project. But I still had to get to work on the tunnel that actually leads into here. So I got to work on that, made sure it was symmetrical with the wood design. And it was time to start digging out the walls and making it fully cobbled, and make sure that there's a decent few lanterns in the mix as well to keep it properly lit. Now, you can see the hole up top, that's the kind of small cave system that I covered up with dirt from up top earlier. I didn't want to have that be visible in here, so I'd have to do something about the ceiling as well. 
So cover that up with the same upside down stair and slab design. Now it seems like I have to do some revisions over here as well to make sure that things properly matched up. Now it was time to add the trees, add a bit more life to this area. Sometime throughout this process, it seems that one of the skeleton horses made it into this area over here. So I guess he's hanging out with us now. Now that the trees were planted, I can make a bit of a path throughout here. And there we go, our designated space for the animal farm is complete. Going up the stairs here to the higher elevation, you can go through the tunnel. This tunnel leads you through the mountainside, up the stairs over here, and into the area that connects all these animal areas together. Each one of these spaces is outfitted with plenty of space, some hay, some shelter, and a small water fountain. The areas on the ends here are held up a bit with their supports to help make the space a little bit wider than they have space for otherwise. All while the trees help give an overall life and breath of fresh air to this whole area. And there we have it, another project complete. Alright, we have completed Moo Moo Meadows, as we can call it, for the sake of alliteration in the title and references to other other video games there is what we can do. Although this is going to have a whole lot more than cows, for sure. My goodness gracious, this might just be the largest build that has yet been done on this channel. I mean, that's saying something. That is saying something over here, for sure. But, uh, it might just be, my goodness gracious... I, uh, if I start doing <laughs> time lapses like this, I should really, maybe I should put a lantern over here. Uh, I should really start doing time lapses sometime more during the day. That took me four hours. It is currently a little bit past 3.30 in the morning on a Wednesday. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, whoops. Yeah, whoops. That's, uh, not quite, not quite according to plan. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out though, honestly. So we've got space for five different animals here. I'm going to have to decide what exactly that's all going to be. It seems like one of our visitors kind of snuck his way in here during that whole, uh, that whole debacle with the, with the skeletons. Hi. Well, hi. Well, hi, at least you're chill, unlike your skeleton friendos. I can't believe that freaking skeleton horse archers came after me again. The first time kind of happened off camera. I think it was it during the first or second episode where uh, I played like a clip of it, though, where, you know, it happened on camera on Twitch stream, but off camera for for this series and whatnot. So we have space for animals now. So all that's left to do is actually uh, actually go and get some animals and start putting them in there. I have a whole bunch of stuff that's all over the place now in terms of uh in terms of what's gonna what's gonna happen here i wound up making like a, a whole freaking stack of campfires is what happened and i used half a stack on this whole fiasco here it might have been less than half a stack one less than half a stack because i had to put one down and break it again oh man i got a decent bit of ore and whatnot a little smidge of iron already went into the auto smelter over there so oh oh Oh, okay, um, well, that's, no, <laughs> yeah, there we go, oh, hide the evidence, hide the evidence, <laughs> nobody needs to know that there's a, there's a big hole there, so, yeah, we don't yet have a dedicated path up here, that's something that I'll figure out, you know, sometime after we build some other buildings up there, what is it with it freaking raining on me all the time lately, like, it kept on raining me all the time during the build, and I kept on, you know, going and resting up to get the rain to go away. What the hell is this? There's no freaking. Also, why are there some leaves missing? I'm so confused. I'm so confused about stuff going on here. Don't tell me that like lightning struck that. No, the whole thing would have burned down if that was the case. Oh, we really need to figure out a freaking lightning rod situation here because for whatever reason, Zeus just has like a personal vendetta against me for whatever reason. And, uh, 
at me trying to do this series. I don't know why. So, uh, you know, keep an eye out for any freaking angry lightning gods, I guess, or something. So, now that we have the actual place, now that... Gosh dang it, I almost started saying the same sentence twice. Now that we have the actual place, it seems about time to actually put some animals in there. And we can start doing... We can start doing some breeding. Where did I put my leads? There, I know they're not in the chest up there. They might be in the chest inside. But they might also be here. Maybe. We're gonna need wheat for when we get cows in there. That's what I am going to need. I will grab that more wheat. I, I, I said I was gonna organize this like off camera after last time put it into the storage and I didn't. My leads must be inside. My leads must be inside then. My goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and change it to change it to day is what we'll do because this is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, when we come over here, it is actually really nice and pleasant, quite frankly. Because over here, no, not the treasure thing, Rob. I have three leads. I thought I have four leads. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, we still have the uh, Arctic foxes here. I, uh. Oh, that's where my fourth lead is. You still have it. Jeez. After all this time, I was thinking about potentially putting them into one of the enclosures over there, but, you know, they're Arctic foxes. They're, they're better somewhere out around here. So. At some point in the near future, maybe I'll, you know, make a little enclosure by the side of the house here. Something like nice and cute. I would have done that tonight, but, you know, with how long I spent on that, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to build anymore today, quite frankly. I don't... Gosh, oh, okay, there we go. I thought it was going to say I couldn't sleep because it was day. But, you know, the snow is also really pleasant when we're, when we're over here. It's just it's not so pleasant when it's the super loud rain. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Um, yeah, I'll make a little arctic fox enclosure another time and then we can we're gonna have to venture out and get some sweet berries to breed breed them and whatnot. I was actually originally planning on putting them into the enclosures over there. That's what my original plan was, but it's only now looking at the uh, finished product over there. That's like, yeah, that's not the place for arctic foxes. Some regular foxes maybe, but not some arctic fox. I don't even know where I'd find regular foxes. So we have five enclosures to choose from for like different different animals. I'll have to do another wheat harvest here in the near future. I know that there were some animals over here. That's where I got the, uh, the arctic foxes from. I know that there was a few chilling around here. These, uh, llamas are just continuing to, like, chill around here. It seems like I could always put them into one of the things. I don't know what you do with them, though. Like, this was the alpacas, not the alpacas, the llamas from the traveling villager trader dudo was a thing, and yes! Hi. That's awesome. Hi. And I think I befriended them, but I can't, like, move around with them or do anything. I guess you could probably lead them and, like... Wait, how do you, uh... I thought there was a way to, like, yeah, access inventory thing here. Do you put a thing there? Maybe you get storage and just take them with you, but you don't necessarily ride them? I don't know how it works. Yes! I don't know how it works. I don't know if you're gonna freaking, yes! you know, despawn because the, uh... The villager is long gone. I mean, the villager is long gone, but you guys have been around here for a while, especially considering how long it took me to to do that build and such. So, I mean, so, I mean, maybe you are just sticking around now. I still need to, like, mine this surface stuff. So, there's a lot of sheep around here. Where? There's a cow there. Cows are the ones that we need to actually make progress towards enchanting since we need leather. Is it really just the one cow? Wait, is there two donkeys? Yes! Oh, there's two donkeys. I thought there was just one donkey. We can breed them. So th for whatever reason, th it seems to very much like this patch right here. Like, what is this? What is the uh, biome? I forget where you look for the biome. Minecraft forest. It apparently really likes this little smidge of forest for spawning animals on for whatever reason. Yeah, I guess we could put donkeys into a thing, Rob. I prefer to have like horses, though. Maybe horses in here would be like the best idea. Since, you know, we need a big open space to be able to ride horses well. And, I mean, do I even have use for donkeys around here? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take some sheep with us to one of the pens first and foremost. I'd be able to bring... I'd be able to bring four of them if that one arctic fox didn't have my lead. Yeah, so there's one cow here. But there's no point in bringing you over if I don't have another cow. Well, I guess there's a point in bringing you over in, like... That's progress one out of two, just need one more no matter where it comes from. But, you know, I won't actually be able to do things there for there for a while. I am always hesitant about going too fast with animals on leads, because I worry about the leads breaking. Yeah, it'll be nice once we've uh, 
establish things around the hideaway here a bit more and there's like paths connecting everything so I won't have to worry about you know going on weird routes like this this away this away so which thing Rebaba are we gonna give to the sheep that one over there is best for something small dang it one broke where's the lead where's the lead where's the lead where's the lead okay Got worried there for a hot second because we literally won't be able to make any more leads until uh till we get like a slime farm or something like that, which uh might be a little bit down the down the line yet. That's the thing. I just got lucky getting these ones, quite frankly. I mean This could help lead them along as well. I'm fairly certain that both sheep and cows like wheat. So I don't know, the big central thing could be cows, maybe, because I'm always gonna be needing leather. I won't always be needing wool, but Let's have sheep over here, so that, like, sheep and cows are, like, the really easily accessible ones from here. And such. And I believe that that right there is the tunnel? Yeah, this right here is the, uh, secret tunnel, is what that is. So, easy access to both of them would be nice. Sheep and cows is, like, the two, the two really big important ones. Yeah, so let's go ahead and close this now. Like that. Take my, take my leads off. There we go. And then I'll, um... I'll do that. No point. No point doing it with a third since it needs to be in pairs and such. And look, we got a freaking gray sheep. We could buy the white and the black sheep to make a gray sheep. Wow. Munch, munch. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. There you go. Hope you like your, uh, your little enclosure here. I mean, you guys are freaking lucky. You guys are way better off with your enclosure here than, you know, <laughs> most Minecraft players would probably give to their, give to their animals in Minecraft. You've got it good. So, you know, live... Live the good life over here. Enjoy yourselves. Now, there's one cow over there. I could bring, like, the donkey over here. <laughs> I could put, like, the donkeys in here to, like, chill with the, uh, skeleton horse. Should we give him a name? If you have a name for him, leave it in the comments, I guess, or something. I don't know. If he'll even be around the next time that we, <laughs> we come by, if we want to relocate him. I was not planning on having a skeleton horse in the thing where Bob, but... You know, uh, the weird luck that I get just winds up in stuff like this happening. I could bring the, uh, the llamas in as well, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. What is the play here? What is the play? I wonder. Play of the game. Okay, that's a lot of iron there. Where'd the other donkey go? Hmm? What do you even use to breed donkeys? It's not wheat as well, is it? Do you like wheat? You like carrots? No, probably not. I don't know. Come with me anyway. Come with me if you want to leave. Come along. Come along. Donkey Connor. Okay, I don't even know what the heck I'm saying anymore. Let's just see here. Okay, come along. Where'd that one cow go anyway? Because, you know, if I have three leads, I could lead the cow along while I'm doing the uh, two donkeys here. Where'd the other donkey go? Oh, there's the cow. Oh, gosh. Darn it. I'm just gonna... Still coming with me, right? Just making sure. Please, no fall damage. Please, no. Huh? Uh oh. Whoa, my good gracious. Ow! That hurt. I'm just gonna. Ow. Uh oh, let's not kill you with fall damage. I'm just gonna break this lead and I'll come back for you in just a hot ticker. That's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Because that's a little bit sketchy, sketchy, sketchers. All right, here's the one cow. Where's the other donkey? Where is the other donkey? I could have sworn there was two here. Rare. I could have sworn. I seen it with my own two eyes. I thought I did. There's no point leading you over if there's just one. I mean, I just said that with the whole cow thing. It's still 102, so like... You know, it's still progress and stuff, but like... What the heck? Did the other one like skedaddle? The other oh, whoa. Okay, you can uh, you can chill here for now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do. This is what we shall do, just to give at least the cow a little bit more incentive to come along with me. Come along, friends. Come along. Let's bring you to your new home, your new mountainside home. I mean, your home was already mountainside, but you know what I mean. So if I need to venture out of the mountains to get a to get a second cow, that uh <laughs> that might be a little bit tricksy. Tricksy hobbitses. 
This is what it might well be. I know for sure there's cows at the Hive and Vine Island. I'm not going that far, though. Definitely not going that far, though. Okay, up this way. Okay, so I'm going to want the cow here. Come on. So I'll just enter here for now. That's what I shall do. Um, and then take that off. And then donkeys out. Donkey! Okay, out. Out. Whoa. There we go. And now you guys can go join... Uh, do oh, gosh darn it. Can go join your... Uh, your friendo over here who's looking a little bit thin. So make sure that you share. Make sure that you share your, your A over there. Because uh, it seems like this guy over here could definitely use it. From what I can tell. Definitely seems like it. I don't know what thing where Bobby used to read them. Wow. That's a... Oh, do you like it? I thought you were actually drinking for a second. You're just going for a swim. What's the point in this? Here. Okay. Okay, I don't know if that actually achieves a purpose or something, but... Oh my goodness, you grew up already? They grow up so fast. Yeah, so there's still this bit here. I need another cow. I know that when I first got my leather boots, I went down the mountainside this way is where I went to uh, go after some cows that, whoa, I took out that were there at the time. Oh, let's uh, let's not do it during the night. That's a, that's a bad idea there. Let's not do that. And so sets the sun on another day. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest up real quick. Rest up and then we can set out really quickly for some cows. I have no idea how to get my fourth lead from you. I have not a clue. Yeah, let's go ahead and have a little bit of a sleep carrot in hand, I guess, or something. They're so cute. I promise I'll make you guys your own little enclosure in the in the near future. I mean, do, oh my goodness gracious, I didn't know you could grow up ladders. Um, do they really need an enclosure? I might just need to uh, get the uh, sweet berries or wild berries or whatever the heck they're called. Um, breed the uh breed the one that i'd be making here i mean i have to breed them a couple times so i have like a couple semi-domesticated ones i don't know i don't know how it works where i don't even know where my leather boots are i'm just gonna avoid the snow <laughs> i know they're in like one of these chests around here somewhere i don't know where i'm starting to think maybe i should make a path Ugh, i can't words today i'm starting to think maybe i should make a path this way as well because i do like you know coming through this way for like ease of access so maybe i'll make a another route around this way maybe so yeah, as I was just saying before, the last time that I went and got leather for boots was over here. So I can go check the fields over here and see what see what wildlife there might be. I know that uh, there's that way over there that I haven't really explored much yet. That's the way that the uh, mine shaft would lead to if I ever do make like a secret entrance thing or Bob over there, which is another project for another day. Um, there's goats over here. I, uh, I know that goats can jump like crazy, so you can't really put them behind a simple fence, so if we want to have goats, that'll, that'll have to be another time with a whole nother enclosure. Last time I went this way, I think was a, oh crap. Oh no, was when I was going to yoink those, uh, turnips from Garvia. Oh, I'm regretting this already. Oh no. Oh, it's fine. It's not fine. I lied. Don't take anything I say for truth ever again. Oh my goodness gracious. Munch, 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 munch. There's pumpkins over there, but we already have pumpkins of our own. Let's not go down this way again. Maybe not. But yeah, I know that there's a, ow, a whole lot of stuff over here. I know that there's like some beehives. Oh, beehive. Didn't I say that the last time we came here as well? Um, this is where the cows were the first time. I would like to get bees at some point. I'm not 100% certain what you use them for, but I thought those were cows for a hot second. It was just the spots of the plants. Yeah. Oh, man. Dang it. Do cows have to be another time? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. There's a chicken. Oh, 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 cows don't have to be another time. Also, chickens are one of the mobs that you can get, like, more of even with just one technically speaking if you're just patient enough with eggs and uh you know throwing them we could always uh temporarily put you in like a single tile space on top of a hopper and uh you know just get automatic eggs like that until uh until we can get a 
second one and then start breeding them with seeds. Is what we could do. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have cows established, sheep established, chickens sort of established if I do like a weird setup like that. Is what we will have. Look at this. Look at this place slowly coming together. The little hideaway here. Oh, what an insane amount of work it's been. You know, I also mentioned it this during the last time, but, uh, you know, I did originally want to do, like, weekly episodes of this, but, you know, with how much work goes into, uh, stuff for one episode of this, it does very much seem like, you know, <laughs> it's gonna have to not quite be weekly, but essentially just be, you know, however quickly I can get them out, essentially, amidst other projects and not, you know, overwhelming you with like other uploads I have because I know I have a whole bunch of other uploads and stuff look at that bam a new cow so we're gonna have to be a uh, breeding cows here a decent bit is what we will have to do to uh you know get plenty of leather so that we can start enchanting so we've got two things on the way to enchanting done we have the wheat for uh breeding breeding the cows we have the cows for leather and now the last thing that we need is a sugarcane farm I'll need a sugarcane farm, and maybe we'll like combine it with a bamboo farm, maybe combine it with a cactus, just have a whole bunch of like spikes and stalks, that sounds pretty cool. Um, and once that is done, once that is done, then we can start enchanting. Will be the thing. Come on in. Come on down. Yeah, if I do set up a single hopper setup, maybe that'll be uh, another time. Maybe that'll be another time. I mean, I can just like test my luck. Darn it. Darn it. Well, at some point, at some point we will get another. Whether that be with like a hopper setup or or what. I should probably set up like an auto chicken farm at some point. So this is still unused. I can always put pigs in here. Wherever I find pigs. We've got, we've got the cows in here. Over here we have sheep. Which I can go ahead and uh, do this now. Like that. There we go. More sheep. More sheep! I'm gonna be able to start getting some wool and stuff, and that'll be handy dandy to get to get more wool. And then over here, over here we have a couple doggies and a skeleton horse that just wandered in. Skeleton horse is the only one that's here completely by choice. So, uh, so there's that it seems. So yeah, I feel like I feel like this is a job well done for this episode. And this is a job well done here. I'm just gonna really quickly check it out one final time up here yeah look at this look at this we got the animal farm established i'm gonna have to go ahead and take the take that one sign off of the uh the bulletin board then i can always replace it with just a thing where bob that says pigs because uh yeah we can put the uh, last main the last main minecraft animal in here is what we can do and then uh as i was saying earlier if we want like more animals around here i'm gonna have to make like separate spaces because you know, while a whole lot of people that play Minecraft would just put, you know, animals in like the tiniest, laziest little pen kind of thing or a bob, I always want to make like a dedicated facility for literally whatever task is the thing. It's super satisfying. It's a lot of work, but it's super satisfying. And, you know, at the end of the day, it means that you've got something around here that you can look at and be proud of. And seeing this uh, scarred tree here is making me think that, you know, lightning rod should probably be like really high up on the priority list, especially with how much things have been storming on me <laughs> storming on me lately to say the least here all right let's put that away yeah okay look at this back to the bulletin board we go so there's that blank one there because that was the uh the golden fields which you've got there and now the cow farm bam that is done i could replace it and just say like pigs i mean that could potentially play into exploring i'll i'll put one up that says pigs sure that's what we can do we can go ahead and do that, and then we'll have that area fully established, I guess. Though, do I want to have it up there right now? Because the whole significance of, like, this row of three was, like, this is the row of three that leads to enchanting. I'll just keep pigs in the back of my mind. Um, so that's one, two, done. One, final one! Final one, and then we can start enchanting. That'll, that'll be great. But the sooner I explore, and I got some some wild berries or sweet berries, I don't know what, I should freaking just Google it already, whether they're called wild berries or sweet berries. And then I'll be able to get the uh, foxes out of my house, breed them to get a couple domesticated ones. Well, semi-domesticated, apparently, is how it works. Um, that would be nice to do. I would like to trade with villagers. I, uh, 
I basically, I ran out of spruce wood for, I ran out of most of my spruce wood. I think I still have like a stack inside or something like that, but I ran out of most of my spruce wood on that build. So this is going to have to be sooner rather than later as well. So is this before something of mine burns down considering the, uh, was that the fox? What was that? Hello? What was that sound? Are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Okay, you're chilling. You're just chilling, living your best life. I was so confused. I was like, where is this fox? Um, yeah, we're real close to enchanting. There are so many things that I want to do sooner rather than later. With this, we'd be able to get more leads. There's so many things to do. Well, and so the moon comes out on another very, very busy day. But another day that lets me look around here and be proud of what's been built. And this really is a great place, being able to be here secluded in the mountains and just look up and enjoy the enjoy the stars here so another thing done we still have a lot of other things to do every single one of them feels like it should be done sooner rather than later but like <laughs> you know you know you can't do every single one sooner rather than later it doesn't work that way like this is the thing that would actually lead up to potions because i need to get like nether wart and blaze rods for a brewing stand and whatnot but there's so many other things I want to get established before then, especially in terms of like being safe in the nether, considering the nether is a dangerous place. I don't want to be, I don't want to be going there unprepared. I want to be going there when I'm, you know, loaded up and fully prepared and I have things like, things like enchanting done, because that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous place. Don't want to be spending too much time there if it can be avoided. So that'll be, that'll be coming later. But yeah, with the stars out, I guess we'll go wrap up another, another day. Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, what? I can see into my house here. I can see the uh, fox on the ladder. But why is there a block missing here? What? Huh? I'm so... Confused? I'm so confused here? I mean... It looks like I have exactly one spruce log left from the... Uh, that must have been from the build over there, I imagine. So, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and replace that real quick. That's pretty strange. That's pretty strange right there. You're just gonna be chilling on the ladder now? Yes! Just relaxed by the fire here at the end of a uh, another long day. My fingers were actually pretty sore after the build, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I should start taking more breaks in the middle in the middle of builds. But with that, I thank you all so much who tuned into another episode of Peculiar Potions. And until next time, take care and see ya.